Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another bullet journal video for you. I am going to be flicking through and sharing with you my new bullet journal layout. So I just finished my last bullet journal which was the Loisterm 1917 in black and I really enjoyed using it but this time I wanted to try a different journal. So I made a video called which bullet journal notebook to choose or something like that. I will try and link it up here somewhere. And it was basically me reviewing three, three of the different bullet journals that I had been looking at. So I went through the Loistrum, the Scribbles That Matter and also the Limon, I never know how to say them, um, notebooks and I kind of went through the pros and cons of each one and I decided that the one that I wanted to try this time to use was the Scribbles That Matter. So that is what I'm using just now, it's this one here and obviously because it's a new one I had to set it up. So I've had a bullet journal for, what's this month is this, almost a year now and I've really been enjoying using it and I've kind of figured out a little bit of what I like and what I don't like in bullet journal now so I'm pretty happy with my new layout. I'm going to go through it with you because it's slightly different to the layout from my last bullet journal and I want to show you what I've done with this one and then in the next video I will be showing you my setup for September I think. So I'm going to show you how I have this set up right now and yeah here we go. Okay, so here we have my new bullet journal. It's the Scribbles That Matter bullet journal. And I'm gonna show you how I have set it up. So the first page is just a space for you to put your name and also the date when you started it. I've put August 2018. And it's also a good idea to put in something like your email or your phone number so that if it gets lost, then there's a way that someone can get hold of you to return it to you. I haven't done this yet, obviously, because I don't want to put my phone number or email on the internet. So. I haven't done that yet, but I will add underneath my telephone number. Then we have the cover page here. And then it's straight into the key and the index page. Now on the key page, you will see I have put here um, a turquoise blue for my personal future log, which I'll show you in a minute. And a pale pink for the YouTube planner, which I'll also show you. Here in pencil, I've written school holidays. I need to go over that in pen and add a colour because I haven't decided on a colour yet and I haven't added the school holidays yet so I still have to do that. Then on this page we have index um, so I've started my setup with my future log and the pages of that one for my monthly stat tracker, YouTube tracker, YouTube planner, YouTube vision, YouTube video ideas, self-care, clean home and meal ideas and I'm going to go through them and show you. So there's another two pages for the index to give me plenty of room to add other pages and then we're into my future log. So I've just looked at my old journal to show you my old style future log. So what I had was a page like this um, and I added in all the birthdays and then I had lots of months listed like this where I would put in any other important dates. But I found that I was always flicking back to this one to see if I'd missed a birthday and then I'd look at this one and it was just too many different places I had to consult before filling in my each month's schedule if that makes sense. So I've scrapped that and in the new one I've just got this one spread and I like the fact that I've got four months on one double spread because it means I can see more at once and this will be for birthdays, appointments, everything I'm going to put here. So I've just listed it much more simply like this written down the side than the last one. I was using like a double page for each month which was like really wasteful. It was using loads of pages and here I can get like four months across two pages. So I've just written here future log. I've underlined it in the blue turquoise Tombow that I like using and then to separate the weeks I've um, highlighted every Sunday with light blue to kind of break up the week so I can see where we are in the month and I've just put a letter for each day of the week down the side followed by the date and then I can just add in any birthdays or appointments as they come up. So I've started in August, I've got August, November and then December to March. And I've carried on the turquoise theme. I've underlined all the months with a pale blue turquoise um, under each month and again on these pages. And you'll have seen on my index page, my key page I should say, that I've used that colour for my personal future log. So that ties in. So next up I have my monthly stat tracker. As you can see I've not filled it in yet and I've started it from May and I want to start it from May so I can see my progress up to, so there's up to now and then I can have some space for the year ahead. 
Um, I've done logos for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, and then a total of my overall followers across all platforms, because that's helpful to know. And then also I've put a box for gain, so I can see how much I've gained overall from month to month, because that's helpful to know as well. And I just fill this in at the end of each month and it lets me see um, how I'm growing. So it, like, for example, I haven't been very active on Twitter recently, so I can see, okay, my followers aren't growing very much on Twitter. Maybe that's something I need to look at more if I want to. Maybe my followers have been growing more on Instagram and that's because I've been putting in more time there and I can see it's worthwhile because they're growing. So it's a really good way for me to have a look and see how things are going as far as that. And that is for my work, so that's beneficial to me. If that doesn't apply to you because you don't do YouTube, you can maybe use this for something else that applies to you or your work. There's lots of um, different uses for a tracker, but that's what I've got mine for. Then I have this um, YouTube tracker specifically. I started this in my first ever bullet journal and I really liked following how my subscribers were growing. In fact, I'll show you if I can find it. Hang on. Here we go. So this is my original YouTube tracker and started it here. This was my subscribers on the 17th of June, zero. That's the day I started. And then I have added in how my subscribers grew and the dates. Obviously it's funny amounts, like 100 and 248 onto a thousand and then it was just whatever I had a note of and um, I filled it in and then I could see as it went down and um, how it grew and it was really helpful to me to see where I'd how far I'd come and give me something to work towards growing so I had started to do the next one here in pencil but um I haven't bothered doing that because I was away to start a new journal so that's what I've done here so I've got here that I am at 9,000 subscribers, that happened on the 4th of August and then as I reach 10,000 I will add the date there and then it just gives me something to work towards and see how I'm doing and I, I just like doing it that way, it's kind of a fun way to do it, adding a date and I can see how I've done. I've made 100,000 and 200,000, 200, I wish, 20,000 bigger so that because I feel like they're quite big achievements so yeah. That is my YouTube tracker. And I just copied that from my last one because I thought it was quite fun and I want to continue with that. So next we've moved on to my YouTube planner. I've written YouTube planner here and underlined it in pink. I've used the pink to underline the months and also each, I've highlighted each Sunday to break up the weeks. And I've used that pink throughout the YouTube planner as I showed you in my key. Where is it? Here. Um, that's from my YouTube planner and that keeps that separate so if I look at that I can automatically see because it's pink I know that's not my personal planner that is just for YouTube and videos and I did every day of the week because I sometimes change my upload schedules so like if I was to make a planner and just put every Tuesday and Thursday say that was my upload days and then I decide to change them I would have to start again so at least if I've got every day I can decide what day I'm going to put in my videos. So that works well for me. As I said, if you don't have a YouTube account and you don't want to use a planner for that, you might want to use it for something else. Say it's for work or um, maybe you're into something else like exercise and you want to plan in your workouts. Or if you maybe volunteer with something, it might be useful to have that separate to your personal. So whatever applies to your life, um, you can do that. So again, I've got the four months and the four months. If you have, just to, just to add, if you have more than one thing on each day, um, what I, all I do is I write the first thing and then I do like a double um, forward slash and then do the next thing just to separate each different thing on each day. Okay, next up I have my channel vision. Now I did this last year, if you've got a YouTube channel this um, might be helpful. I did this last year and what I did was I thought, about what I want from my channel, where I see my channel going, what I want to make, that kind of thing. And I kind of wrote down some key points, some focus areas. And it really helped me when I was um, trying to come up with video ideas or think, what am I going to do next? It really helped me to have sort of my vision written down on paper to look at and to help me focus. So I'm going to do that again. I've got it blank at the moment. All I've done is a border around the outside and written my channel vision and done the logo. I want to keep this very plain. Um, and then I'm, I might make it colourful once I decorate it with my vision. But as I said previously, if you don't do YouTube, you might want to use this for something else. Maybe you're starting a business or um, you have some goals in other areas of your life. But I find it really helpful to have my vision written down on paper in front of me and it gives me something to focus on. 
Next up is video ideas. Again, I've kept this very blank and I've just done a border with the logo and video ideas written in the top. And this is basically just sort of a brain dump. If I come up with an idea, I'm just gonna scribble it down on here and it's down on paper. It's not taking up space in my brain. <laughs> and it, yeah, like I say, it's just a brain dump. So that is still to be filled in. Now, I'm really pleased with this spread. I've called this self-care. And this is kind of like, um, I looked on Pinterest and I saw, I looked up self-care and I saw that some other people had done self-care menus and I kind of adapted that. And basically they'd done this, they called it a self-care menu and it was sort of like a menu of different things you can do for self-care. So I've taken that idea and it's basically like a reminder to myself so that if I'm not taking care of myself, I can look at this and think of the things that I need to be doing to kind of give myself that little bit of extra TLC. So some of the things I enjoy doing, reading a novel, watching Netflix. I've put nails in tan because it always cheers me up. If I'm feeling a bit fed up, putting on some fake tan and doing my nails, which aren't done at the moment, doing these things kind of give me a bit of a boost and make me feel better about myself. So that's just a little bit of a reminder. If I'm feeling down, these are things I can do for a little bit of self-care. Take a nap. I love naps. So I've done a bed with a hot water bottle. Um, cup of tea and chocolate, my favourite. Have a clean space. I gave my bedroom a really good clear out recently and it felt so good. So this is just a reminder to myself that that is something that I can do to give myself a little bit of self-care. Obviously bullet journaling. I find it so therapeutic. I love doing my bullet journal and that is something that is important to me to put a bit of time aside to do that. And listen to music. It's amazing how much music can change your mood, isn't it? So I've put that as a little reminder too. And all I've done is the line border roundabout like I did before and I've written self-care at the top. I've kept this bullet journal really quite plain, but um, yeah, it's just how I like it. And I got some of the ideas for the doodles off of Pinterest and other ones I just came up with myself. If you are not artistic, not that I'd say I am artistic, but if... Um, you don't like to draw you can use stickers you can just use words and um, you can simplify things much more however you want to do it so i like having a self-care spread that might be something you like to do or you might want to do something else next up this is one i haven't finished yet it is a clean home spread i hope you can see because it's just in pencil at the moment but i have done a section for my daily chores and i've written it in daily a section for my weekly chores, a section for fortnightly, one for as needed. And this one here is just some other chores that I need to remember to do things like I need to remember to meal plan, order groceries, and um, remember to check birthdays in advance so that I can get birthday presents and cards as needed, check dinner money because um, I have to pay into an account for Caitlin's dinner money and I often forget, and also to check in with my budget. So I'm gonna go over this in pen. Again, I'm just gonna keep it in black and white. I'll write um, clean home and do my border on the outside. I've done this little grid. That's how many weeks. Each square is a week and each square here is a fortnight. Um, I saw that on Pinterest and I thought it was quite a good idea. So you can color in a square as you fill in the weekly chores. I'm not really gonna, I don't really plan to use this as sort of a, as a, something that I check in with. It's not like a tracker. It's basically just a reminder so that if um, I have a spare minute and I'm gonna go and do something and I think, oh, what do I still need to do? I can just look at my list and it's just kind of a reminder because sometimes but at the time you forget what needs done and what doesn't need done. So there's little things like when needed, I've got um, cleaning the extractor hood in the kitchen and um, going over light switches and cleaning the banister, things like that. And I also, in my last book, had a spread and it was called, when did I last? And when I did a chore like um, clean the banister or say it was like um, change bedding or whatever, I would put the date when I last did it. And it was really helpful because sometimes it feels like you haven't done something for ages or sometimes it feels like you just did it yesterday and it's been ages. So it really helps to see the date of when you actually did it and see, is that due? Should I be doing that? Or no, actually I just did that not long ago. I don't really need to do that again. So I might do something like that. I might make some kind of space for a date for that. I'm not sure. This is kind of a work in progress at the moment. I'm going to leave it in pencil for a little while till I see how it's working out for me and I might end up changing bits. But yeah, this is a work in progress. But I want to share it with you because I think it's quite a useful spread to have. The next one is meal ideas. And again, I've kept this really blank. I plan to divide it up into like chicken meals and um, minced beef meals, pasta dishes, things like that so that I can try and have like a well-balanced meal plan of 
I don't have like four chicken meals one week and whatever. So that I can come to this and see like, right, okay, we've had chicken four times this week. What can we have that's made out of something else? And I can come here and look in a different section like ground beef or um, pasta and see what other things I can make. So that's the idea behind this. I've got lots of food videos planned for the coming weeks and months. I'm planning on doing some batch cooking videos and um, also some like slow cooker videos and things like that. More grocery hauls and meal plans. But this is going to help a lot with that. So I wanted to have a spread for meal ideas. And that's it. That is the spreads and all my setup for the start of my new journal. My next bullet journal videos I'm going to be doing are some of my favourite bullet journal accessories and stationery. I'm going to be doing my monthly setup like I used to do I'm going to get back into that so if those are things you enjoy keep an eye out for those thanks so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you're not already subscribed I would love it if you'd subscribe and stick around and if you are subscribed make sure you click that bell icon so that you get notifications of my new videos and don't forget to comment below if you have any bullet journal requests that you'd like me to make and I will see you in the next one bye